Hello, this is Political Forum for Wednesday, October 2nd. Today we welcome 16th Ward Alderman Stephanie Coleman. Thank you for appearing oh, on Political Forum. Thank Alderman. you for having me, Dulce. Thank you. Yes. My name is Dulce Maria Diaz. I am a board member here at Can TV, and you are watching a live interactive program brought to you as a community service by Can TV. Please be sure to tell your friends that they can also watch the show online at cantv.org forward slash hotline and you can join us throughout this segment by calling us at the phone number that appears at the bottom of the screen and will throughout the segment. That's 312-738-1060 and please remember that you can always connect with Alderman Stephanie Coleman of the 16th Ward at her website and you can always visit her office and give her a call. Get involved. Yes. Thank Get you involved. so much. Yes. Thank you. And first off, I want to congratulate you for being the first, the youngest woman of color to have been elected Alderman. Congratulations. Thank you. Such an honor. So humbled by the vote of confidence from the 16th Ward. Yes, awesome. And I hope that you continue to spread that great energy throughout all of the wards of Chicago. Yes. All right. So we have a lot to talk about tonight. Let's get to it. Yes, let's do that. So let's uh, let's start about let's start talking about your ward. How diverse is your ward? We're going to go back and visit this uh, this ward here. Now, this is a very diverse ward that stretches quite far. You want to talk to us a little yes. bit about your ward? The beautiful 16th Ward, uh, diverse. Our uh, ward is made up of Inglewood, Chicago Lawn, Gage Park, Back of the Yards, and New City. Our, our boundaries are 51st to 70th. We go as far east as Emerald and Wallace, and as far west as Kedzie. Uh, that's where our Gage Park, I know we were discussing earlier, you grew up yes, in Gage Park. Yes. What a beautiful, beautiful sure neighborhood did. park and, and community uh, that I love to go to all of the restaurants and, and small businesses over between 55th and 59th Street. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have Inglewood, which is majority of our ward. That's where our um, Damon to uh, Ashland to uh, Halsted boundaries. And then we have Chicago Lawn, which is our west of west. Western uh, area. Such a beautiful, beautiful, diverse community. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. And before we've gotten to any questions, we do have a caller. Caller, are you with us? Yes, I am. I have a question for the phenomenal Stephanie Coleman regarding small business. I see you support small business a lot and um, black small business as well. What is your plan for the small black business in the 16th Ward? Why, thank you, caller. I was just uh, <laughs> telling Dulce how beautiful our ward is and how I love to go to the small businesses. That, that was, that was pretty great, that. right? Um, how I enjoy going to small businesses, uh, supporting small businesses who are truly the backbone of our community and advocating and being a champion uh, for small businesses. I can think of uh, one of my favorite vendors, which is Lynette Warbington. We call her the Jewelry Diva. And she is from Inglewood and getting businesses like hers and, and boutiques and shoe boutiques. And these are basic quality of life, just businesses that we want in our community and being that advocate where uh, it's convenient and also welcoming uh, to support our small businesses and get more of small businesses. Our children cannot be what they truly, what they truly don't see. So when we have uh, women of color, black men and women, black and brown men and women of color who are getting up every day and opening and showing our children that you can be an entrepreneur to whatever it is that you like whether if it's jewelry or gym shoes or I don't know cell phones or robotics whatever it is that you have an opportunity in the 16th war can be your home too. Mm -hmm. You gotta start somewhere we do have another caller. Caller are you with us? I am. <laughs> Hello. Hi did you have a question or comment? Yes. Stephanie, this is Nadine Griffin. I am just so elated oh. to see you in your position. Thank you, Ms. Griffin. You really deserve that. Thank you. You have really been a real success to that 16th Ward. I've known you all your life. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and I have watched you grow into such a fine person. Yes, And your leadership is what we need with these young people today because the kids, each generation has produced 
smarter and smarter and greater kids. Yes, so ma'am. So more than just sit down and shut up. Yes, so ma'am. So on, Stephanie, and I will be watching you, and I'm always here for you, whatever I can do for you. And thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Griffin. Thank you for your leadership in Inglewood. I remember uh, the senior citizen, I mean the senior center, I believe that was Ada S. McKinley and DCFS. Uh, this is going back to the 80s and 90s growing up. I remember those centers that were in our community, and we no longer have centers and, and resources is like that and Miss Griffin and so many others were part of that change and we're, we're coming back in the 16th Ward. Thank you Miss Griffin and thank you again now we're just talking about how diverse this this ward is and just in the very short period of time that you have been in office you've accomplished a lot so and you've you found that city services is something that you've highlighted that you're learning a lot about do you want to yes. start off talking to us about the importance of city services the lack thereof and how we can get involved do say in our first hundred days in office uh, our ward had not had a voice uh, as it relates to city services. Uh, we have done over 11,000, we have taken 11,000 city services requests, whether it was um, 11,000 11, <laughs> in 100 days. In 100 in days. In 100 days. Uh, we had had neighbors. 11,000. 11,100 days. Sounds like a lot of work. Imagine the phone calls, the yes. emails, the text messages, especially constituents who texting, texting pictures. We are literally, our service office would not be what it is if it were not for the neighbors of the 16th Ward. Uh, we've reinstituted we've re uh, monthly community meetings where our constituents have a voice. Uh, our first, very first meeting, I believe we had over 300 residents that attended. Bulk of our city service requests came out of that one meeting. Uh, there were pages. One meeting. One meeting of issues. Uh, oh gosh. people that got one, involved, right? One, one constituent. That's that right. Involved. Because one people were. One conversation. One meeting. One meeting. People were engaged. We had streets and sanitation out. CDOT, uh, Department of Water, uh, one of our districts, 7th uh, District, Inglewood was there. But one meeting where um, weed, weed removal mm -hmm. uh, was the hugest issue coming into office. Vacant lots. Our ward. 3,987 calls on weed removal. Alone. Alone. alone during the month, away, the month of May. It rained for 20 days. So could you imagine all of the weeds and all of those lots. We have the most vacant lots in the city of Chicago. 291 calls on clean vacant lots. Yes. Yes. 481 calls on rodent baiting. Rodent baiting. Because rodents are attracted to weeds and they are attracted to uh, a dog species. Dirt. <laughs> yes, to dirt, dirt and, and dirty, to debris. Vacant. 344 street lights, single and all out. Yes. And with all of these issues, we know that people care. There's a demand, and that's why people made these phone calls. And not only did they make phone calls, they visited you. They visited yes. your word. You had over 800 office visits from residents and business order owners. Yes. What does that feel like to know that these people care and they trust you? They're going to your meetings. They're having conversations. What is that like? It is the greatest feeling. Again, I am so incredibly grateful and humbled because um, our ward knew that we needed a change and we needed someone who proactively is going to fight for you, that's going to be your voice and be your champion to advocate for quality city services, no matter what neighborhood you're in, whether if you're in the Gold Coast or Inglewood. Uh, I always say it uh, from Elgin to city. it doesn't matter. <laughs> One city, we deserve quality city services. And it was unacceptable as I'm walking the streets and, and during our the last four years, uh, seeing the difference in city services that um, 55th, west of 55th would get, but east of 55th would not get those same services. And we're divided by one street. It wasn't fair. It's not right. So I hold streets and sanitation, every other city department, uh, to the same standard as any other neighborhood. No matter if that we're from the southwest side of Chicago, we all deserve quality city services. Thank you so much for that. Yes. All right. So we highlight that city services are so important and we just recently had a conversation where, where I asked uh, Alderman Coleman, I said, so do, do the residents call the city for these services or do the residents wait 
to have these services taken care of. Coleman, Jose. Our residents, that's right, and and especially because we we're are all responsible. We're all responsible. Uh, uh, one of the residents, she said in our meeting on this Saturday, look, we get what we put in. Yes. We have to, uh, I would love to, I told everyone, I would love to come to everyone's home, and I'm going to visit everyone again, mm -hmm. but there are 50,000 residents. There are over 20,000 uh, households uh, in the 16th Ward, and I can't be everyone's eyes and ears but I need everyone's eyes and ears and to make us aware of of those street lights that are out that can happen overnight due to the rainstorm or um, if your sidewalk there's infrastructure improvement improvement needed if your alleys uh, the fly dumping which can happen overnight or in the split second of the day I need your eyes and ears and I need you to contact our office contact 311 get those city service request numbers so that we can address these issues issues mm -hmm. so that our beautiful war can just say that uh, beautiful and clean and have the quality of life so that our seniors and our children and our neighbors and residents will be proud of where we are. Thank you so much for that Alderman and just for those of you who didn't catch that you can get in touch with Alderman Coleman through her ward office you can always email get involved and no matter what ward you are in whether it's the 16th ward or any other ward 311 that city services city for any services. word. If you don't know who your alderman is, you should find out. <laughs> yeah. And if you, you know, once you find out who they are, find out when the town meetings are. Go to the meetings. Get involved. Have these conversations. That's why we're paying you know, taxes. We pay so much money into our city. Let's find out. Let's find yes. out what we can do, how we can get our streets clean. You mentioned some of the surprising, you know, when you, when you stepped into office, there were some surprises that, that you encountered with these mm -hmm. city services, and that's when you realize the, the lack of, and that's where your passion grows from. So now we move into some of your goals for the 16th ward what are some of your goals for this ward you know you've the, already accomplished so much the the number you know we're just getting started wow. I, I come from a great legacy of, of women um, starting with Alderman Anna Lankford uh, the first african-american woman elected to the city of Chicago Council uh, Alderman Shirley Coleman someone I kind of know pretty well <laughs> I've known, known her all my life who served the 16th Ward for 16 years and just mm -hmm. the, the 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 hard work and the laying of the land that they've done um, CXX, for example, mm -hmm. uh, 20 years ago, in 1999, CXX <coughs> was doing so good in uh, Bridgeview that they decided to have a, a storage yard on 59th and Damon over in West Inglewood. 20 years later, Amazon is doing so great that they have to expand that storage <laughs> right down the street from Gage Park. Uh, that now they're expanding. So they're coming on 63rd and Oakley in Western uh, to expand the second largest east of the Mississippi wow. right here in West Inglewood. That's where it's happening. $20 million investment. Wow. So I, am, uh, I have um, been working mm -hmm. uh, as of last week when making sure that we get CXX and that investment uh, into our community which was once a movie theater that was blighted with fly dumping and people from other neighborhoods were just coming and just leaving any and everything in our community which wasn't right. All right. We do have another caller. Caller are you with us? Do you have a question or comment? I do. I just want to say uh, Alderman Coleman I think you're doing a great job and I want you to continue to do the great job 20 years ago. Uh, I remember the CSX project, and I want you to continue fighting on behalf of the citizens of the 16th Ward to get as much infrastructure uh, improvements, home improvements, and all the, the monies and millions and zillions of dollars they've made over these 20 years make sure that the 16th Ward gets their fair share of it. God bless you. This happens to be your mom. Oh, I knew that voice sounded familiar. <laughs> Thank you, Alderman Coleman. And we will fight. And I know that you as a concerned uh, constituent are going to hold me accountable mm -hmm. as well as the rest of the 16th Ward. Um, because again, as, as Alderman Coleman uh, once mentioned, there are millions of dollars that will be made uh, and ample opportunities. This is an over $20 million uh, addition to an already successful yard. So we're 
definitely uh, in partnerships. We just discussed it at our community yes. meeting. And being transparent and letting our community know what's going on. That's one of the things that I'm so grateful that I learned from my mother that going to our community and letting our community know what's going on to get the message out so that we'll be in front of the narrative and not hear from Fox News or Channel 7 of what's going on in our community when you've elected a leader who is there to fight and advocate for the best interests of the community of our ward. Thank you so much for that. Again, we go back to the importance of voting. Yes. Vote, vote, vote. If the people had not voted, Alderman Coleman would not be here. Alderman Coleman would not be making all of these positive changes in her word. And that is brought to you by you. Yes. And that is why it is so important to vote. Now, um, aside from, from winning this election, you've had other successes. You've had over 800 office visits from restaurants and business own, um, owners. And there's some new projects and developments, uh, initiatives that you'll be bringing in the world to the new future. You, you, in the near future, you just mentioned the expansion of CSX Truck Yard. Do you want to talk to us a little bit more about the phase two of the Englewood Square and the Hope Manor Village project? Yes, so uh, Englewood phase two. So phase one was the Whole Foods, uh, Chipotle, Starbucks, there is a Oak Street Health, and other businesses uh, at 63rd and Halsted. Well, upon us is now phase two. Mm -hmm. So in our last community meeting uh, and meeting with uh, Chicago Department of Planning and Development, uh, and we'll be meeting with our new commissioner who was just appointed a couple of weeks ago, to ensure that we get quality businesses. For far too long, our ward has been oversaturated with dollar stores, uh, beauty supply stores and uh, chicken and fish restaurants. We deserve quality businesses, quality affordable businesses. And I can't stress how important small businesses are. And if only we can unite. There are so many uh, like children that love pets. Mm -hmm. Why can't you be a veterinarian? Why can't you? You know, there are very little schools. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, we need more of that. Yeah, and paying attention to more of what we need. That's right. Yes. So you've done so much already, and so many are proud of you, and so many are. And, and again, I'm honored to be here with you as well. Likewise. Thank you. And the She Organization. Thank you yes. so much, She Gallery. We just finished up our season on Monday, and we look forward to the next. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, so aside from everything that you've already done, you have also built stronger blacks by reinstituting formal black clubs. You want to talk to us a little bit about that? Yes. Uh, in addition to small businesses being one of the backbones of a thriving community, block clubs are such a huge component. So do you remember the, the welcome to the 5700 block of Mozart. Mm -hmm. The signs where our block club presidents were the officers of the block. <laughs> yeah. We have gone back to uh, promoting and training and getting our um, our neighbors uh, aware of starting block clubs. It only takes two or three residents on your block to start a block club. Uh, while the parties and the celebrations are great for our children and so, you know to block the street off, which is great, but we need to get back to contacting each other, knowing each other, knowing who our beat officers are, especially our third shift beat officers when crime is more than likely to happen, uh, getting to know our commander, uh, getting to our CAPS meetings, getting to know our DAC chairs and the subcommittees that all of our um, our district offices have uh, in support and, and they advocate resources to blocks. Um, if something is irregular or if you see uh, new faces, get to know those faces. Uh, get to know who's on your block. Mm -hmm. uh, starting again, public, um, safety. public safety, and it all goes back to public safety and identifying again, helping us identify if your street light is out, if your alley light is out. Alley lights are so important. Yes. Uh, if your tree needs to be trimmed, this, this all goes back to public safety. If there's a vacant lot on your block, uh, making sure that we ensure that that lot is uh, maintained. Mm -hmm. If someone owns it, that we keep them to the standard that they have to maintain their lots. Mm -hmm. Just the other couple of weeks ago, uh, the shooter, I believe he uh, shot an officer, was able to hide in a vacant lot 
So these are just everyday issues that and they can lie. You shouldn't be able to hide. hide. <laughs> Absolutely. And our trees should not overshadow our street light mm -hmm. because it's all a public safety issue. Yes, the other so man that, was just mentioning that you were just mentioning how having these um, like lack of lights and these dirty a dirty neighborhood alone, it's not appealing mm -hmm. and you you have a higher crime rate and um, just thank you so much for, for highlighting those little things yes. that make all of the big difference to public safety, to city services, to really and truly building a community. We are wrapping up. You've accomplished a lot more. You've encouraged minority development and infrastructure development. You fostered collaborations with CPD districts yes. within your 7th, 8th, and ninth ward. Can you please talk to us about that and why this is such an achievement, why it has not been done before? Yes, so majority of our ward is 7th District Inglewood, and they've been doing a great job. But but they're seven, the 8th and 9th District, Chicago Lawn, and um, 9th District, which services our back of the yards to new city communities. We had not had a strong relationship with them. Uh, Commander Jerome, who has been great. Uh, Commander uh, McDermott and Chicago Lawn, uh, where we have anyone who applied for a block club, we asked, seven, we asked 8th and 9th District, what, were, what was their advice? Uh, we're in partnership with them and partnering to make sure that our summer was safe for our children, our residents. Um, again, forcing relationships, mm -hmm. uh, forcing the relationships so that we know who our B officers are, that we know who, um, when our CAPS meetings are. Are. Um, I've advocated and again forcibly have guarded those relationships and they're just so just wow we, we <laughs> hadn't had a presence in 16. A well, presence and by the way when she says forcefully it means communicating. That's right. It is such an it, it's such a simple thing to do just to communicate to have a conversation to communicate and say this is an issue what can we do about it. Yes. And know that you have access to these communications. Mm -hmm. Get involved. Get involved. We have one minute left. Do you want to talk to us about, you know, give us, I don't know, what, what are your highlights? We have a lot more that we didn't get to cover because you're doing so much. You're doing such a wonderful job. So, Dulce, let me just say thank you for being the you. good, because media <laughs> highlights the bad in our community for far too long. So, can TV. Can TV. Can so, video. thank you for highlighting the good. For example, in West Inglewood, our children went to the National Chess Champions uh, in this Carolina. At Earl Stem School, that's highlighting the good. Uh, we have five principals that was awarded uh, the um, hashtag. What is it called? They were just awarded like this really cool honor. Okay, whatever it is. Um, and can I highlight the best of the good? Please. <laughs> you, you becoming alderman? Yes. I want to go back to you being the first youngest yes. woman of color. And you are doing so much, probably more than anybody has in your ward. I don't know anybody that's had over 800 office visits from restaurants and business owners. That, say, that says a lot. That says that yeah. people want to get Residents, involved and they trust. Business owners and all that. Uh, Principal Ply Chicago. Trust. Yes, establishing, establishing the trust, yes. building those relationships, cultivating those relationships. Uh, they're not transferable. They are built. Built. Thank built. you so much, Alderman. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying involved. Thank you to your mother and all of the strong yeah. women who have been such a great influence. First mother daughter to ever hold the same seat in the city of Chicago and Midwest. And that so is honored. Why, that is why this is an honor. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Thank you.